David here with Feedback Loop. Today I'm going to walk you through how this tool works. It's a peer review system. It works entirely within the learning management system. For today, that means Canvas, but in the near future, we'll be rolling this out to other LMS tools too, like Blackboard and beyond. And our premise here was we wanted to make a tool that's fun to use for the student, really easy for the instructor, powerful reporting, and basically save you time doing something you're probably already doing if there are uh, teamwork based elements in your courses. And that is where the students are rating each other and themselves as part of their team contribution. So with that said, let's take a look at Feedback Loop and see how it works. This is a survey I've already sent and I wanted to highlight the results. We display the results in three layers and then there's also a student released view that they get. And only if you decide as the instructor on the project, if you decide to release it to the students, they'll get to see it. So it's up to you if they ever see that, but it's more of a performance report that we think makes for a pretty nice active learning experience. But if we want to view the results as an instructor, we click view all results and this will list the entire course's results all at once. And you could scroll down for every individual result. The column over here where you see reds and greens, that means there was a gap between the self-assessment and the peer. And then you can download the summary data or the raw data in Excel. We get that question a lot, so just to put that up front, you can absolutely pull this stuff out in Excel. But in the app, you can drill down. So I'm looking at all these teams. If I click one team, I can now see everyone in that team and any results that have been received. Students within a team who are underperforming will be highlighted as an outlier. I can click that. Um, I can click any individual student and see their full results. So I went from all teams to one team to one student and I can bounce around. I can click up here and switch dynamically to any student, any team. It's pretty dynamic. But then the released view I mentioned. So how does that work? Well, you can preview it first and decide if you want to release this to the student. But this is an example of what it can look like. Of course, the results are going to vary. It'll dynamically suggest things to the student based on their results. But at the top, we're seeing some average ratings. There's the average they gave themselves, the average they gave, in other words, to their peers, and the average they received from their peers. And those are all represented up top. We just wanted to highlight that because occasionally a student will give scores very different from what they receive. And we think that's an important point to note, but also noting what they give themselves and how that might be different or the same from what they give each other. We call that alignment. And if it's within plus or minus 15% from 100%, uh, then that's considered pretty good alignment. It's kind of a neutral thing, but it means that your self-assessment is pretty well aligned with how your peers see you. Um, and in the case that there's positive alignment, which isn't the case in this report, but for many students that will be the case, we highlight that, that, hey, this is maybe a hidden skill that you didn't know you had, but check it out. Your team actually thought you were pretty good at this. You might reconsider your self-perception. But then there's also the learning opportunity. What if you thought you were really good at a skill or a particular question and your team docked you for that? Then we think that that's important too. And that's what this section represents. And we highlight questions where the alignment was particularly divorced between yourself and your peer. So this is what we think of as a performance report that the students received. Now, this is all after you send a survey. So next, I'm going to show you how to send a survey, what it looks like when the student completes it, because we really think that's a seamless experience for the student. But let's go ahead and take a look. When sending a survey, the first thing to do is to populate your students. Luckily, that's very easy. You click import teams. On my example, this is feedback loop working within Canvas. That is the only LMS we support currently, but coming soon will be Blackboard and we'll be quickly following that up with some other LMS tools as well. So if you're not using Canvas, we should still chat because this is coming very soon support for other learning management systems. But for most faculty, this is extremely simple. You just click import teams. All your students then are brought in. It will also reconcile between Canvas and any students maybe that you're missing. Like let's say you've removed a student, but you have them in Canvas. You can update this list, but typically you're going to click import teams. All your students in their teams are aligned and now you can send a survey. We have this concept of templating for survey content. Now we know instructors typically send the same survey often a few times, sometimes many times within a semester or a quarter. So we don't want you to have to rebuild that every time. You can go in and build a new template from scratch. You can use uh, the existing template that we provide 
and coming soon, you'll be able to share and use templates from within your school. But let's look at a template that's already been built. So this is a 360 peer evaluation where the questions have been broken up into different categories. So we've got a leadership category, a competency category, teamwork and professionalism. These could be whatever you want, by the way, if you want to build your own, but this is an example. We also have a points allocation field. Most of this stuff you're going to be familiar with text entry, uh, scales, Likert scales, yes, no. I mean, those are pretty standard things. Points allocation is maybe a little lesser known, but we think in some cases it could be pretty powerful. This is where you create a pool of points that the student will then allocate amongst them team, their team, including themselves. And you can even specify a minimum variance. So if I say, look, the variance has to be at least 10 points, then you can't give everyone 100 points. The closest you could do is give everyone a 90 to 110, but there's got to be that 10 point spread with how the points are allocated. But you can set that how you wish. Again, these are just examples. Every time we talk to people and show them this, they think, well, can I build my own? Yeah, you definitely can. And when you actually build a uh, survey question, you can determine if it's a peer and self response, or is it just general feedback where the student is actually just reporting to you, the instructor, about the overall team performance or how their project is going or how the course is going. So it doesn't all have to be peer driven, but it often is. And then you can determine if the result should be releasable back to the students so they could see how they perform for that question, or should it simply be private to the instructor? And when the student responds to the survey, they're gonna know. It will tell them for each question, this is releasable, this is not. So there won't be any question there. Then when you're ready, you go and you send a survey. Now in my demo example, I've got a lot of surveys. You probably only have a couple, but let's go ahead and send one so we can name this. We'll say this is the, November midterm survey and you pick which template you want to use. Let's say we're going to do the 360 with the points allocation question. Uh, again, you name those templates, whatever you like, specify when it's due, but you can close it manually. And then should it be set up as an assignment or not? And if it is an assignment, then the students will actually be prompted to complete it through the LMS assignments tab. They don't even have to go to the feedback loop tab and it can be automatically graded by completion or manually in your grade book. That's up to you, but when you're ready, you hit send survey and it will show up. So next, let's look at the response view for the survey. I'm now viewing Canvas or the learning management system as a student. And because the survey was sent to me as an assignment, I just go to the assignments tab like I would for anything else. And it'll be listed here and it'll be named whatever you titled it and it'll be worth however many points you specified but as a student all i need to do is click that button and now i'm responding directly to that survey i didn't have to go anywhere else i didn't have to hunt and dig for an email you do get an email notification you can do it directly through the feedback loop interface but you can do it through the assignments tab which we think is pretty important this is what the interface looks like now you'll you'll notice if i go through all of this at the end you'll see um, a prompt for that points allocation field, which kind of has a unique interface. And these are mostly scale-based questions, but you can see you can have text entry as well. You always start, the student in Feedback Loop rather, always starts responding about themselves. But next they respond about their peer. And each circle up here is a peer, um, or there's also a circle for the general reflection questions. There's a circle for the points allocation. This is kind of a big team, so it looks big, but we thought it was best to break these things up into separate tabs. So the student is always focused on whomever they're reviewing and they could see that image just in case maybe they're not working together in the classroom. Maybe it's an online situation or it's early in the term. Maybe they forgot the name. This helps them put a name with the face. And remember that photo is imported automatically from Canvas. So as a student goes through and completes their survey, they then are prompted to review their performance report should you choose to release that to them. And that's it, everything's done. The student had an entirely seamless experience. If you wanna know more about this, we could do a live demo. Email us hello at getfeedbackloop.com or you can email me personally, david at getfeedbackloop.com and we can chat. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.